Okay, in this video, I wanted to give you an overview of what Teams looks like from the teacher point of view. Um, you can see that it looks very similar to another team that you might have. In the conversations, this could be a place where you post announcements for your class. You will also see that as you add assignments, they will show up in the thread as well. Under files, this could be a place where you post materials that your students would need access to. If you post documents within the class materials folder, those documents will be read only for your students. So it keeps them from making changes that you didn't want to happen. You still have the class notebook. That's that OneNote notebook that's associated with your class in assignments. This will be where you um, create and then review student assignments. I wanted to look at one more thing. If you come over here to the three dots beside the name of the team, you'll see manage team. Within manage team, this is where you'll add members. So the owners are the teachers and the members will be your students. Come over here to settings. Within settings, this is specific things that you could change about your team. So you could add a different theme under member permissions. We want to make sure that all of things are unchecked. That prevents members from adding information to the team that you don't want them to be adding. Um, down here for general channel, this states that any member can post. So within those announcements, this allows members to also make posts. So they may leave a message to their peers about an assignment or respond to an announcement that you left. If you're worried about them having access to those conversations, then you can come down here and click on only owners can post messages. So that would give you a place where you could leave announcements for your class, but the students couldn't respond to the class as a whole. So if that's something that you need to happen, then that's where you're gonna turn that off. Also under fun stuff, that's where the settings are for the emojis and the gifts and the stickers. Depending on how your class is set up and what your expectations are for your students, you may also want to change those settings. So that's just a quick overview of what a team looks like for a teacher.